Hello, welcome back to my channel, JB Spiritual Healing. My name is Jessica, and in this video we're going to be learning about what is in store for November 2021. So if you are new here, thank you for being here. This reading is going to be touching on a more spiritual um, awakening revelation. So if you are looking for a deeper insight into the spiritual way of being and living that is what i will be touching on this will not be just a general reading this is going to be more about spiritual healing and uplifting the higher self that's the message i'm getting from my guides <clears throat> so let's get started here they're showing me the moon cards, so I say let's go with the moon. Alright, so I've been feeling a lot of energy from the moon. Sometimes I don't pay attention to it, but just this past full moon that had come and gone, I really, really noticed my life was, um, my life was lining up to that energy. Um, it was like my time of the month, along with um, I had a, a show that I sold my stained glass at, and it all happened at about the full moon time. So I felt like everything was coming to a head at that point. And now I'm reflecting on how it, what happened and how I want to change uh, for the next time that I do a show specifically. Um, things were uncovered, and now I am making decisions that are moving me forward, and if I want to uh, sell again, I'm going to be selling at another place that I learned about while I was at this other place, if that makes sense. So maybe sometime in your, somewhere in your life, you've had, in October, you have tried something new, and you have taken what you like and what you don't like, and now you're moving forward. So in November, this my guides are, are saying that we're going to be touching on this thing. So when it's it's in your head, I'm sure. All right. So let's see. They got a couple more cards. Oh my goodness! They just they just all fell out. So let's see what they got here. They have a couple piles. They want me to keep them in the piles. But we'll go with it. All right. Step out of your comfort zone. That's exactly what I was talking about. The North Node must correspond with that. I'm still learning about astrology, but these cards have definitely been opening my mind to the moon and, and things. And I actually just got these cards the same day that I had that festival that I was selling at. So it's kind of like divine timing in a way. Like I've been working so hard and now they're like, okay, let's do it. <laughs> so step out of your comfort zone. Okay, my comfort zone is... Well, it used to be staying by myself. I don't want anybody interfering with my energy. But now I've come to this place where I am more in control of my energy and I believe in my beliefs because of my experiences. And other people's opinions are no longer swaying me in the way that they used to. Okay, it doesn't rock my boat and I don't fall out. I can steady myself, if that makes sense. So maybe you have too. That's great. That's great progress, okay? Emotions are running high, okay? Maybe the super moon, maybe the energy was running high. So what they're saying is maybe you're not realizing this big step that you took out of your comfort zone is actually going to cause this gigantic revelation or maybe the step was like stepping into some deep water and you're okay, Does that, if that makes sense, okay? I hope it does. So they're having me look at this one now, okay? Hold your vision. You and your loved ones are safe. Um, it's possible something has changed and you're worried that maybe you're not going to make enough money. Maybe um, your housing is not stable. There's something that you're worried about losing or something that you're worried about is going to change because of these steps that you're taking. And this is saying you are protected, 
hold on to your vision, okay? Because change is fluid, and just because uh, something changes, it could be for the better, okay? So maybe this thing that you're holding on to is not for the best of everyone involved. And because you are deciding to continue with this change, trusting that you and your loved ones are safe, that it will all be okay. So the new moon in Cancer, this is Cancer here, most definitely bringing out the emotion, the water vibes, okay? So stay, hold true to your vision, okay? Step out of your comfort zone and allow these emotions that you're experiencing to flow. It will, it will all be okay. All right. That's what they're saying for November here. And this, and I'm getting the vibes that like, this is going to be the first couple weeks. The first couple weeks of November is going to be like wondering and questioning if this is the right way of doing things. And then now they're saying to move on to the next pile and we're going to see how it turns out. Okay. Conclusions are within reach. Perfect. That's exactly what we were hoping for, I'm sure. Okay. So you will find the answers. That's what this card is saying. So all these, all this worrying and questioning and believing without evidence, physical evidence. Okay. Conclusions are within reach. Now you're starting to see, as you can see in this card, there's the trees. Okay. This might be the blockages that you're worried about, but you're starting to see the beauty of your choices coming into play. All right. Nothing is yet set in stone. So I'm getting the feeling, I look more water here with this, that you're safe. Okay. Nothing is set in stone. And at first I was thinking like, if you question this and if you decide to stop it and halt it, you can, but that's not what's in your best interest. Okay. Nothing is yet set in stone. When I saw all the water, I realized that it's, it, this is saying you and your loved ones are safe, okay? Nothing is yet set in stone. So just because you see something happening and going down one way, it doesn't mean that that's where it's going to stay. It might move into, it might still move into what you are looking to achieve, okay? A time for healing, yes. Continue to, when those uncomfortable things pop up, continue to try to heal and release those things and Every time you have an issue, try to be more open-minded about the situation, okay? And this, they're, they're giving me, this is for the middle of the month. So the vibes I'm really getting is that it's going to be, it's going to be turbulent. There's going to be change. There's going to be news, but nothing is set in stone yet. So even though people are bringing up ideas, it doesn't mean that they have come to fruition they are maybe still sowing the seeds. Maybe you are still sowing the seeds of what you want to see in 2021. So nothing is yet set in stone, okay? You're coming out of your fear and your healing. And these turbulent waters, I just, I keep feeling um, that e there's going to be turbulence, but it's going to be okay. Just focus on healing and focus on the conclusions, all right? So the end of the month, how interesting. Okay, we got new moons. So I would say it goes along with the healing, but also um, new perspectives. Prosperity lies ahead. Bring love into the situation. So it definitely seems like even though we're having this turbulent time in the middle of the month, it's going to end up with prosperity or a new vision lying ahead, seeing all what's possible because you went through this terrible time um, and bringing love into the situation. Okay. Aquarius and Taurus. I believe that Taurus is an earth sign and Aquarius is an air sign. So we're going to bring our thoughts down to earth and we're going to realize that all this stuff that we were worried about and didn't know, it's all going to be okay. And we're going to see the bigger picture and we're going to become bigger and better people. Not that we think we're better than other people, but just that we are safe and secure in our own, in our own way of being. And that's all that they have for us. 
Um, they have one, they had me look at this card. They just have one message for you. Okay. Surrender to the divine. Surrender to the possibility that as long as you follow the breadcrumbs, you're going to make it to, you're going to make it home. You're going to make it to your destination. All right. And they also want me to show this one. Meditate and contemplate for sure. This balance here of these fish. If you are worried about something, it's time to just erase any thoughts in your mind and allow these feelings to come up, these thoughts to come up and say, I don't need to worry about that right this moment. The only time I have, I need to worry about something is when I have the ability to do something about it. And when I have the ability to do something about it, when it is perfect timing, I will know the answer. Okay. You will know the answer, but meditating and contemplating on the future. This is what I'm getting. The future is what you need to be contemplating. What do you want to happen? And my guides always tell me you have the most power in the next four months. So four months, let's see, November, December, January, February, um, you can start to create your reality. It's not, it's the five year and 10 year plan is important. Okay. But you can't get there from here. And if you just sit around and do nothing for five years, you're not going to randomly manifest what you were hoping for. You have to take the steps now. And I'm sure you've been doing it. So I'm sure this reading is saying, keep on going. They want me to pull these. I got these, this deck with the same uh, at the same time as this moon deck. It was like perfect timing. Let's see who is coming out of here in November trying to get you to understand something here. Wow, faith. Oh my goodness, this is... Have faith. Okay, have faith in November that things are going to work out. Stay calm. Trust the good in yourself and others. See the light in the world. Okay, so I when I was reading the astrology forecast that I get in my email, it was saying that the middle of the month is going to be a lot of frustration, maybe taking anger out on other people, but faith and staying calm and trusting in that the good is there, you know, that is their advice. Okay. Have faith that this, this, this struggle, this time will pass and once again, we will have the ability to find the answers that we need, even when it feels like we're in deep and dark water and we can't see where we're putting our feet. Eventually, we will come to a clean and clear pond that we are able to sit and, and contemplate, okay? what Maybe that, that is the very end of the month. So let's see if there's any more advice here. Lady Venus, okay, how nice that we have another astral body coming in here. Downloads and understanding, truth is being revealed. Deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realm. Okay, so this gets me with the meditate and contemplate. Okay, so now I'm starting to see that these cards, oh wow, they match in color. Okay, meditate and contemplate downloads and understanding okay the answers are coming to you they will be coming to you you're already getting the like you're scratching the surface of what you're what you're wanting to do what you're wanting to know and this surrender to the divine okay have faith this this is pretty much just saying have faith in your plan and, and what you're trying to do because it's going to work out. You must continue to trust. If you don't trust and you just sit down and like on the path and you and you put your backpack away and you don't get up, okay, you're never going to keep going. You just take a moment to rest and get back up and keep going even when it's hard. Even when the, the incline is very steep, you can still make it, okay? Cloak of Wisdom. You already know the answer you seek. Trust what you know. Exactly what I was saying. Trust. Okay. And the self-development. You're going to realize that you've always known yourself. 
and recently I've been getting this this message that your natural self is happy. Your natural way of being is happiness. When you wake up in the morning, you just want to be happy. And it's possible that someone or some situation in your childhood or in the past made you grumpy. Maybe something happened every morning that you were just always grumpy. Um, but now it's time to realize that like because you are now more in control of your life, that you get to choose how you feel when you wake up. And happiness can be your vibe all the time, even all day. If you allow it to be and if you have enough control over your your emotions you can be happy all the time you cannot you can stop allowing other people to determine your emotions care and compassion choose to be loved do what is right for everyone involved and offer a helping hand and i see she has a nice necklace beautiful necklace beautiful jewelry but also the flowers around her are starting to bloom and each one is at different stages. So it's not like you're going to discover all at once the answers that you're looking for. It's going to come with time, with believing in yourself, with healing who you are and becoming the person that you want to be. And wow, look at supreme protection. You are protected. Cords are being cut. Move beyond limitation. Trust. Okay. The cards are telling you, the guides are telling us 100% of what the energy from the beginning of the month was telling us. This is just a confirmation. Look at all of her. She's blooming. She has even more beautiful jewelry on her. You know, maybe you're at this point right now. And then if you keep going, you're going to come to this point. So just keep trusting that you know the answer because where did it say that? Right here. You already know the answer. Trust what you know. The, even that little kid inside of you who wanted to be some person, okay, that person knew. And through conditioning and other people's opinions, we we put that aside and said it's not possible, but but it is. And you're discovering that you have a lot more power over your life than you used to know, than you used to think. Okay, you're you're no longer allowing the conditions to control you. You are creating the conditions, and that is something that not everyone understands. And so you have a leg up, in a sense. People may be intimidated by you because they don't understand. How you're getting along so well uh, maybe someone put you in this box and not hopefully not phys not literally but you know what I mean they they made you feel like you're not good enough and the secret ingredient is love self-love and they're like how come I can't contain you anymore and you say because I am an energetic being and I am only controlled by my mind okay you can't go back to yesterday. Be in the present. It's very possible that you're afraid to make these changes in November because of how it's turned out in the past. Situations that turned out a certain way. But you must remember that you've made progress since then. Okay, When you were put into this uncomfortable situation, it caused you to grow. And so now we're moving forward from that. And November is going to be a time where you are, it's really difficult for you to get out of that mentality. Maybe someone's going to try for the last time to make you feel in, in, insecure, but also the word is evading me. Um, like you're not good enough. Delinquent? No, that's not the word. Um, but... Another word coming to me is inseparable. So maybe someone's made you feel like you could never leave, but you can and you will. And what's on the other side is more love. Because you have learned how to love yourself, you are learning how to love other people. 
and you are learning what kind of love that you deserve. Okay, don't go back to yesterday. Be in the present. Plan for the future. Okay, learn from the past. Be in the present. You can take action. The present is now. The future is in five seconds. Okay, the future is in another five seconds. The, you can take action right now. And by the mindfulness that you've been practicing, you're able to. So we have three cards here. Follow your own good advice. Trust yourself. You know what. You know what is best for you. All right. So because this is blocked, it's possible you're not realizing how much you do know. Okay. How much you do know yourself. Maybe there's someone in your life that's making you feel like you don't know yourself. But really, they're reflecting the fact that they don't know themselves onto you. And you say, BS, because I've done the work. Now I know. Now I know I'm not who other people think I am. I am who I am. I am who I think I am. And if I think I'm not good enough, then I'm not going to feel like I'm good enough. But because I think I'm enough, I'm, I am enough. Okay, and I, and I want to feel that. I want to match my knowledge with my emotion. And it is possible. Just keep going. And I'm getting that November is going to be a rocket. Okay, rockets of desire. I'm getting that term. Um, you will understand yourself on a deeper level at the end of this month. And going into 2022, that is where we want to be. Okay, so keeping up. Immense effort. Advance. Wow, I was just talking about it before I even read the card. So in November, we're going to be moving forward. We're going to be like cutting all the the corn and and grass that's in our way to get through get through all that junk and and harvest what we've been working on and and time here keeping up okay it's blocked maybe you feel like you don't have enough time but there will always be enough time the time the extra time comes from not doing what is hurting you and focusing on, on what is helping you. So if you are at work and you hate your job and you just sit there and listen to the same songs all day and play the same games all day, okay, just to make you feel better, it's time to change it up, okay? Listen to someone like me or some other reader um, who is giving positive guidance and when you are in that that mental state constantly, your self-esteem raises. So that's something that they just want me to touch on really quick. For the first time in my life, I was, I didn't procrastinate and I was done with making my projects for that festival. And the day before I was sitting there like, what else do I need to do? I have nothing to do. Whereas normally I'd be procrastinating and then I'd have to get it all done at the last minute. But I had everything done. And you know what the secret was? Listening to uh, oracle readings, tarot readings, self-development, spiritual development. Just talking with my cards, talking with my guides. That's what ended up me um, feeling like I had accomplished something. And actually being able to focus on what I'm doing while I'm accomplishing. Okay, because... It was, it was like this positive influence, this positive interference. This is like I was listening to the radio station that gives me all the answers. And even if the answers weren't there, I was in this mental state of fixing and, and healing and growing. And so my actions also fed into that. I got everything done in a great matter of time and I did not feel overwhelmed. So I think this is... What they're trying to say is that it is possible to do everything, but cut out the things that are not helping you anymore and do the things that are helping you. And I always get it, and it's because it's such a, a, a normal thing. Get off your phone. Get off social media. Even if that is where you are, are, are seeing these positive vibes, put on a YouTube video of someone doing a, a reading and get off your phone. Listen to it. And focus on what you're doing. Focus on your work. Draw. Write. Paint. Okay. And if you have to be at work while you're doing it, 
do your work along with it. The words and the messages of positivity and upliftingment, I don't think that's a word, but coming into your life is going to make you feel more powerful and like something is getting done because you're healing. Okay, oftentimes we don't know what to do. We feel stale because we are stuck in this old energy. Let's see what this card is. Oh, keep your temper. Don't allow anger to rule you. So remember when I was saying in the middle of the month we we're going to have problems with anger. Okay, this is just a reminder. Do not allow your anger to control you in November. You're going to get off course and you're not going to be able to focus. So I'm now getting the vibes that there's going to be something coming up in the, the collective consciousness. So the news, media, an issue is going to come up and everybody's going to get really mad and everyone's going to have their opinion of it. And doesn't that happen all the time? Okay, this time don't feed into that. There will always be a solution and not everyone's going to agree on it. It's whatever. Okay, so I'm getting this vibes to pull these angel oracle here okay everything is going to be just fine as long as you decide that you're going to stay in this state of enlightenment and not allow people to take you for granted or take your kindness for granted that's another thing i'm getting um you have worked so hard to have this different perspective than you had when you grew up and just keep going okay so we got lots of cards they want me to put these away new love celebration divine guidance okay so they want me to put these down for right now new love celebration divine guidance um the all of these are wings all of them have angels and they're all in the sky. We have a little bit of water here. But the moon, the stars, um, new love, and the, the baby cherub um, with, the, with the arrow and bow and arrow. Okay, so you're aiming for something here in November. And you maybe you don't know what it is. You just know that you want to be happier. Okay, so because you're getting deeper in touch with your higher self and divine guidance you're going to have a celebration and i think it's just going to be you feeling euphoria free of your emotions or in control of your thoughts and emotions so i'm seeing the color turquoise in in my um blanket here they're focusing on that so turquoise is a mix of blue and green and so that's the heart chakra and the throat chakra so maybe speaking love, speaking your truth, you know, that could be part of the situation here. Let's see what they got. Wow. Okay. Harmony and Archangel Michael. So harmony is just that going with the flow. Okay. That feeling of being one with yourself. Um, maybe they, yes, they're saying focus on harmony and if you do not know how who to speak to um try eric angel michael okay I, he used to do this thing with me when i meditated where he would get his magic eraser out that's what he called it when i was learning how to clear my chakras to open myself up um maybe he wants you to use that magic eraser on your heart and on your throat chakra to clear out that energy okay Maybe people didn't always agree with what you said in the past and now you're worried. Don't be. Okay, he can help you. And he is a protective angel. You can imagine that he and all the other angels are around your house protecting your house from the gate, from the fence line, all the way to the road. Okay, nothing can hurt you. And, and you don't need objects like crystals and things and salt or whatever to protect you you don't need to have the physical your mind is enough your mind is enough to imagine a golden egg around you your mind is enough to imagine a a rainbow force field around your house and every night think about that before you go to bed and he will help you feel more safe 
I, I, in whatever area that just popped up when I said safe. Okay, I'm getting energy in my hands. That's the answer. You ask him to feel more safe in whatever situation that you are not feeling safe in. And part of me is saying there's someone in your life that makes you not feel safe. Or when you want to go to them, you can't. Okay, Archangel Michael, you should go to him. Alright, so now they're bringing up these these cards here the spirit animals messages from your spirit guide animal spirit guides all right this is one of the first decks that i ever owned i think it was one of the first three or four decks and i absolutely don't use this deck enough but it always has good message here mouse oh my goodness i just had a mouse show up in another reading you're overlooking some important detail so pay close attention to what's going on. All right, and, and I'm getting the vibe that this is going to be what is uncovered in November. That's going to make everybody mad. Okay, some important detail is going to come to light. And it, it doesn't have to be the collective consciousness. This can also be on a personal level. Some detail is going to come to light and it's going to shake things up in November. But you can stay steady in your boat, okay? You have the ability, because you've been healing, to look past and realize that this this problem is, is what's the word? It's, it's not going to last forever. <clears throat> Elk, stand tall and then maintain your dignity no matter what, and others will treat you with the respect that you deserve. Okay, it, I, I get the feeling that some people are like, I am being abused in my life. How am I going to, how are they going to treat me with respect? They don't even treat me with respect um, any day. How, why should I treat them with respect? Okay. Just continue to try to stand tall and maintain your dignity until you can figure out another way. And it might just be that we're coming to the end of a difficult cycle. Okay, maybe you've had to be strong with this person or this situation for a real long time. And because of this change that we've been seeing in all the cards happening, the spiritual growth that you're experiencing, maybe this time it's not going to be so bad. Music is essential to your healing and well-being, whether singing, playing an instrument, or listening. Okay, so I got another card here. You are being called upon to provide leadership, so trust that you're capable of doing so. Alright, so this, I feel like moving this one over. Stand tall and maintain your dignity. This tiger, you know, they, they blend into the background until it's time to pop out. And when they do, you don't see them coming. You know, they... I'm pretty sure that that people that live in these areas have to like wear a mask on the back of their head because they'll they won't stalk you if they think that you're looking at them. Uh, maybe that has some kind of message for you guys. I'm not really getting anything else. I think that was just the message. Um, provide the leadership. Okay, you. Maybe it's, um, you can take off your mask. You don't have to be afraid of them pouncing anymore. Let's see what this card is. Get clear on your intention. Stay focused. Move quickly to achieve your goal. Okay, so these cat, this cat vibration. Okay, like I was saying, um, stay in the background and make your move slowly. And then you will know when the time is right. Okay, stay focused and move quickly to achieve your goal. So, again, I'm getting the vibes of an uh, um, inconvenient relationship of some kind, okay? And what I'm getting is go talk to the right people. So, go talk to a social worker or a counselor. Um, call your health insurance, maybe, and see if they can set you up. Because oftentimes, it's, it's hard, it's scary to be like, I have to call all these places and find somewhere. But you can just call your insurance if you have health insurance and they will connect you with the right provider. I've even had someone call and make the appointment for me. 
you know, like they're very helpful. You just have to be open to the possibility and the opportunity. And the next thing I'm, I'm seeing is there is a place called Another Way. And I don't know if that's just local or if that's everywhere, but there are places that you can go to and get advice on legal matters and, uh, you know, and I'm also getting the, the message to say that abuse is not just physical. Okay, mental and emotional abuse is just as valid. And if you are feeling stuck because you have been experiencing this kind of manipulation, they will help you with that. And if you're looking for someone that understands and wants to help people who are in these situations, even if you're not getting black and blue bruises, you're getting bruised in the heart. Okay, so the spirits are saying, go talk to the right people and they will help you, help enlighten you. And also, okay, they're like, not, we're not done yet. Keep, keep with us. Okay. They have connections in other cities. So if you need to move and you need financial help while you move, that is available to you. Okay. Do not feel like you are making a burden because these programs are for people like you who need the help. And yes, if you need to get rental assistance because you can only pay 50 or $100 a month because of your income, they do it income-based, okay? It, do not be ashamed. That's the big word that they're showing me. Do not be ashamed, okay? Keep cutting through that brush and, and see the truth of the situation. All right, we got a couple more cards here. Kiwi and Weasel. Do a walking meditation for the next week. All right, so before I read this one, they just want me to say that when you get out and you take a little walk, you're not hurting anybody, okay? Um, and all you're doing is just re giving yourself time to refresh. And honestly, it makes you feel more free. If you've been stuck in this house for days on end, weeks on end, months on end, go take a walk. Go check the mail. Go draw on the chalk. Chalk. Blah, 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 blah. Go draw on the sidewalk with chalk. Okay. Doing these things. Okay. It doesn't have to be like you close your eyes and walk because that's not a good idea. That's not what they're talking about meditation. They're talking about just go and be in nature. Watch the trees swaying and the clouds going by and the cars driving past and the people also walking and the dogs barking at you and the flowers look in the grass and see how many different kinds of flowers you can find is there a piece of garbage on the ground does it have a word on it that is a sign that you need to hear okay those types of things they want you to be more aware of your surroundings and even if you've worked really hard to be aware there's always going to be something that you didn't notice and i used to think that was crazy because i'm such an observant person but there's always something that you can notice okay so here we go be silent pay attention and simply observe with your eyes ears and physical feelings what is happening inside and all around you so this does go together with the meditation, okay? Get away from that energy because oftentimes if we're stuck in a household that's really negative, we don't realize how much that energy is affecting us, okay? Even though we are in charge of our own energy, that stale energy can, can really bring you down and make you feel stuck. And if you're walking around and, and you're being silent, paying attention to the freedom of that nature is that, you know, that rose growing in the sidewalk. Okay, so maybe you're just at this time where you're inside and and you're just you're you're reflecting, and that's your way. That's that's why it's so important um, that you heal, is so that you can you can see what you don't want. So we're almost done here with this reading, but I just feel like this is the last deck I need to pull some cards from and we'll see what all comes out here. Be love. All right. I feel like that is 
such an important message, all right? You are love and you generate emotion inside of you. And people can make you feel like you're not good enough. But what's important is that you reflect on feeling sorry for how bad they feel about themselves. And you pray or you ask the universe to please help them see a way because maybe they are hurting too. Maybe the past has done something to them and so they feel like they are out of control and so they create this illusion that they are in control when they are not. And you know when someone's not in control because, well, they are trying to control everything around them and they don't understand that the control comes from within. So, be love. Let's see what else we got here. Light, heart, ground, intent, begin anew, manifestation. All right, so this is a pathway that we need to take, and this is going to be beneficial in November, but anytime you're re watching this reading, it's going to be very beneficial. So this is how you be love. You start with a light heartedness. Okay, this, this rabbit is sniffing this fairy's strawberry and there's, there's fruit all around and she is sharing with this rabbit. It seems like I'm getting the feeling, okay. Let all that energy, that negativity, that stale energy out and be, try to be lighthearted, okay. Even if it's just for the 15 minutes that you're taking your meditative walk, okay. Putting yourself in those situations, in those vibrations, it's going to become addictive and that's the good addiction. Wanting to feel good based on your own vibrations okay i'm not talking about don't get don't do the physical stuff to make you feel better because that's that's not where we are the meditation the positive thinking the healing let that get addicted let this being love and this lightheartedness become the way that you want to be in no other way and they say ground yourself wow this is a dragon that has overtaken there's a little a little house on on top okay ground yourself uh, look in my guides are saying the next video you should watch is learning how to ground yourself finding techniques and even if you know how to do it in the past it's it's important that you find new ways um, and and that and in that way you can create new ways all right intent okay once you have a light heart and you're grounded you will be able to create this intention that is not hateful and hurtful but is grounded and light-hearted so it is stable and it is coming from a place of goodness okay whatever this intention is and i'm getting that it's still a mystery we don't know all right, and because you've created this intention, you will manifest beginning anew. Look at this uh, peacock here. She has, peacocks are just beautiful. She's looking towards the light. Okay, she's got a crown on her head. And manifestation happens because you're taking these steps to heal you're taking the steps to create the life that you're hoping for and that you're dreaming of and that you intend to live one day. Okay, so take the steps. This month, it's going to get really messy in the middle of, of it. But as long as you stay stable in your boat, you stay grounded, you stay focused on your intention, you will continue. Okay, again, they want me to bring this out be love okay don't look for it be that feeling and if you need help feeling that feeling again 
the guides are saying, sit quietly alone with yourself in silence and ask for us to help you feel it again and we will help you feel it again. Focus on times in your life where you felt that. Even if it was felt like ages ago, they're saying focus on what it feels like to feel loved so you remember it again and allow those tears to flow. Thank you so much for watching. If this video resonated with you, please consider subscribing, giving me a follow. I would really love your energy in this space. Love and light.